In this lesson, we're going to build an app that uses conditionals. So basically, we're going to have this hungry crocodile, and we need to feed him. So we're going to press on the menu. It gives us a prompt, which is basically his menu, let's call it. And he's going to select hot dog. I'm going to click OK. He's going to say, awesome, hot dog. And he's holding a hot dog. So we're going to check to see what choice he chooses from the menu. And we're going to have certain things happen depending on what he picks. All right, so let's go ahead and make this. We're going to go by creating a new app. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to just call mine Hungry Croc. I'm going to set the fill to be the cave. Again, you can do whatever you want. It's your imagination. You're the developer. It's your app. Okay, so now I've got the cave, and I'm going to add my croc. And I've shown you prior how to add your stamps and your fills. So I'm going to add my croc. And the first set of numbers is going to be the X and Y coordinates. So you can double check where they are. I want mine sort of down around here. So I'm going to say, uh, let's do 200 by, oh, let's see, 805, I think is what I picked. Let's just run that. All right, cool. You know, he seems a little big to me. So I'm going to make him a little smaller. So as we've previously discussed, the first two numbers are the X and Y coordinate. The third number is his size. So if I do this, he's now down about 100 points. But he seems a little small there, so I don't want him that tiny. So I'm going to go up to 350. Boom. That looks good. So now, suppose, there's a tr trick question for you all. Suppose it just had one number like that. What would, you, what would you say that this was? An X or Y or a size? Well, if there's only one number, it's going to be his size. Because remember, X and Y, they need each other. Okay? One is left and right. One is up and down. So that's how you know. If it's two, just two numbers, it's your X and Y. If it's three numbers, it's X, Y, and size. Okay, so let's go back. Where was I? We'll double check to see where he was. Okay, he's around 192, and Y coordinate is 874. So I'm going to do 192, 874, comma. Yep, all right, that's fine for now. So that's awesome. Now I use, I'm going to do that chat bubble up here. Because that's where he's going to say what he wants or what his opinion is on food he selected. So that one is chat bubbles eight. You can again select whatever you want. And I'm just going to leave it in the center. And here I am with my size. See, I only use one. So that's referring to the size. Oh, stamp not found because I said chat bubbles and it's chat bubble. There we go. We've got our fill, which is the cave. Our stamp, which is this guy down here, and our stamp up here. Again, use your imaginations. You certainly don't have to use what I'm using. The next thing I need is I want to do our button for the menu. So that one I'm going to use is the stamp. I believe it's called button line. And where do I want that? Well, I want that somewhere up here. So check out my X and Y coordinates. Let's see, 384 by 86. Remember, it goes in alphabetical order, so the X is first. So that was 384 by 86. And let's see, I'm just going to make that a size 100. Let me check it out. Boom, right there. Awesome. You might want to adjust yours. You might want to put yours down here. In which case, just check your X and Y coordinates that are to the top and left, and you'll be able to accurately place your stamp. Well, that's the end of this first lesson in our Hungry Croc app. In the next lesson, we're going to continue to build out the app by creating a function that's going to show a menu. I'll see you then.